call this meeting, this virtual special board meeting of the Niles Main Library District to order on 7 p.m. October 28th. Um, would you like to do a roll call, um, Susan? Yes. Karen? Here. Carolyn? Here. Uh, Becky? Here. That's just appeared. Uh, Diane? Here. Umer? Here. And no Patty and no Linda. Okay. Yet. Um, let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. To the flag of the United States of America, America. and to the Republic for, for which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under, under God, 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 indivisible, with liberty and justice, and justice for all. For all. Somehow that is easier to do in person. To <laughs> I couldn't hear the first half together. of it, so I'm not sure I didn't why know when is. to start. Uh, but anyway, uh, welcome uh, everyone who's been able to make it to the meeting uh, this evening. Uh, now, you know, fairly short notice, so we're able to, I'm glad you were able to clear your schedule so as to be here. Um, Susan, do we have any public comment? No. Okay. All right, then we'll move on to our new, and for that matter, only business, which is to approve a resolution for uh, 2002, for 2000, or I'm sorry, the name of the resolution is 20 02, that's the number of the resolution, yes. to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Cook County, Illinois, for the purpose of collecting coronavirus relief funds. So I understand Cook County is a grantee of these funds, and we would be a sub grantee. Um, I understand we're asking for uh, $5,000 from this grant. Um, right. Susan, do you want to tell us just a little bit about the grant, how much money we've spent as a result of uh, coronavirus issues and what we hope to do with this grant tonight. I have, I have a packet of invoices of some of the expenditures for things like plexiglass, gloves, masks, sanitizing, hand sanitizer, all that. We've actually spent 13,000. So 5,000 will help make a dent in that. There will certainly not be any question that we didn't spend enough to cover mm -hmm. the grant and it's a continuing expense. So at $5,000, I believe it's just a flat amount allocated to each library. So we don't have, you know, any anything to adjust there. All right. And we want to get this in because the deadline to apply is the end of this month. Is that correct? Yep, that's right. All right. And um, this is, I, you probably don't know this, but is this, this is just for this calendar year, or we probably have no They're idea. You're saying through December, in. yeah, through December 31st, it, they said it was possible it would extend, but it doesn't really matter since we've already spent it. That's okay, all not right. an issue. Well, I guess what we really need is a motion from um, the board members and a second I, to approve this resolution 20 02 to enter into this intergovernmental agreement. Do we have such a motion? Uh, this is Umer. I move to approve the resolution 20-02. Okay. Do we have a second? Second. 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 All right. All right. Is there, um, are there any questions or discussion regarding this intergovernmental agreement? I have, I a, question. have a quick question. Um, I just, what is the greatest uh, expense, do you think, for this whole COVID? Uh, probably, I don't know. I don't know if you add up the many things of hand sanitizer and the and all of the PPE. I think probably overall is, but the um, the acrylic uh, dividers are another another hunk of money. Yeah, yeah but yeah, no, I, I think I think PPE probably is the most because there's, it's just been so much. It's been several months and, you know, it was cleaning supplies and all of that. So that's probably the majority of it. So are okay. we continuing to spend this amount of money? Um, not as much. The prices have come down for one thing, you know, back when COVID first hit, the, the prices on everything were really high. And so, um, 
but you know, Dave was trying to collect it so that we would be able to reopen. So, you know, at this point, I think the prices have gone down quite a bit. A lot of people have masks already too. We aren't like supplying those for the staff continuously anymore. So, I, I, and of course we've got the plexiglass dividers. We don't need many more of those. So yeah, I think we're kind of sad. It still will be something of a continuing expense, but not nearly to the extent that it was to kind of launch. Okay, any other qu uh, questions or comments? Um, I had a question. Carolyn, is that you? Yes, yes. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah if, just speak up a bit, if you would, please, okay? Surely. Um, um, intergovernmental agreement, I was kind of thrown by that. Um, it's just a matter of we spent money and they're reimbursing us. That's the extent of this agreement, correct? Well, the agreement part is that we're basically guaranteeing that we have that we will spend it correctly and that we have okay. insurance and all of those things. It's basically that's holding us that's accountable that's that we're okay. carrying it out. Okay, that's fine. Then I had another question about incurring expenses. What about the cleaning services that you need to have every whatever because you're doing deep cleaning or, or, or deeper cleaning sometimes or just, I think general cleaning itself has changed. Uh, so well, it, it hasn't. We're yeah, we're prepared to do a deep clean if we have COVID cases, but so far we just have a nightly cleaning crew that comes in, and they're basically doing pretty much what they did before, possibly using okay. different different cleaning fluids. But at this point, we haven't had any cost for that. Although Dave did buy some okay. extra equipment for like spraying down bathrooms and things like that. Okay, so it really is just PPE. I thought maybe we could include the cleaning services as well, but but yeah. it's not. Well, that's a good fun. thought, but. Okay, and, and then my other question was, did they determine randomly we get $5,000 or was that a percentage of something? How did that I'm, number- I'm sure, yeah, I'm sure they're calculating percentages for each of the different agencies that they're giving money to, and that's just what they settled on for the district libraries. All right, so th is there any possibility of recouping or any additional expenses? Is this an ongoing thing, do you know? This is just from the CARES Act, so it's whatever they allocated at that time. If Congress passes another bill, wow. there may be another wave of money. That's interesting. So out of the CARES Act, we only received $5,000. Okay, well, thank you for explaining. I appreciate it. Sure. Okay, any other questions? Um, all right. Uh, Susan, would you do a roll call for us? Sure. Karen? Yes. Carolyn? Yes. Becky? Yes. Diane? Yes. Umer? Yes. All right, motion passes. Thank you all, all right. very much. That's all on our agenda tonight. So uh, we'll be winding <laughs> things up here. Um, do I, and until our next meeting, and I guess our next meeting will be November 18th. That's the week before Thanksgiving week. So we'll see you all that uh, Wednesday night, I hope. And uh, for now, can I have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn the Zoom air. Okay. Second. Diane, you're the aye. second? Yes. Okay, all in favor indicate by saying aye. Or do we do, do a roll call? Aye. Aye. It's fine. Aye. 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 Okay. Aye. Thank you all very aye. much. Aye. Have Thank a nice you. evening. Have a happy Halloween again. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye. Have a night. great evening. Thanks again, Susan. Good Thank night. Thank you. Sure. All right, and I will see you, Diane, in a few minutes to sign this resolution. <laughs>